Hello and welcome. Today we'll be looking at math channels using PicoScope. Specifically, we will be looking at sensor signals, transmission gear ratios, and vehicle speed. The vehicle we are looking at today is a 2007 Chevy HHR with no known issues. For this capture, the vehicle is at a stop and accelerated to approximately 50 miles an hour. Once approximately 50 miles an hour was reached, the transmission was shifted into the intermediate mode, where it shifted down to third. In this capture here, we have the crankshaft speed sensor, the input shaft speed sensor, the vehicle speed sensor, or in this, the output shaft speed sensor, and the torque converter clutch solenoid pulse width modulation signal. We'll begin by zooming in on the capture so that we can see one complete rotation of the crankshaft speed sensor. And we'll do this in an area where the transmission is in third gear and that the torque converter is in lockup. All right, now that we are zoomed in, I will rule out one rotation of the crankshaft and adjust it to the peaks of our input shaft speed sensor lock them together. Alright, now we're going to use measurements and we're going to do this starting with our channel C, rising edge count, and between rulers. And this will give us our tooth count for our input shaft speed sensor. Alright, now we're going to do the same for our channel B. Again, rising edge count and between rulers. Right, now we have a value of eight teeth on that. And we need to adjust the ruler so it is on the peak of our signal here. And now we have a value of seven. But since there is a final drive ratio between the two sensors, we need to account for that ratio. And you'll notice on the second ruler that the that it does not line up with the peak. So we'll fix that by bringing out our phase rulers onto each side of that ruler, onto the peaks around it. And I've entered here a value of 0 to 1. And what that does is give us the percent of one cycle shown by the second ruler. Now to figure out the number of teeth on this sensor, we'll do a little bit of math. And what we'll do is we'll enter the value we got from our rising edge count, 7. And we will add on to that the value we got from our phase rulers, which we got 0 0.6667. We'll add that on to the end. And then we will multiply that by our final drive, which is shown there as 3.91. And what we get is a value of 29.97, meaning that there are 30 teeth on that output shaft speed sensor. Now the reason we got all this information here is so that we can calculate the transmission gear ratios and graph it over time. And I already have the channel set up, so I'll hide the channels we don't care about and show the math channel here. Take a little bit to load. All right. So we'll just type them in and we can test it. So we'll start with 2.96. All right, that looks pretty good. Moving on to our second gear, which is 1.62, that looks good. Moving on to 3, which is a 1 to 1, also looks spot on. And now to 4th, 0, 0.68 to 1, and also spot on there. And just real quick, I've got a math channel here showing the road speed, which was calculated from the vehicle speed sensor shown there and the tire circumference, which was calculated using the function in Pico Diagnostics in VH section. Let's take another look at our gear ratio math channel here. I'll zoom in to the first couple of gear changes here. And I'll move a ruler over to the 
one two shift solenoid and then I'll just move it on over to where the transmission actually starts to change and to where it's actually switched over to the next gear and all this shows us is the amount of time it takes to shift or the delay rather and we can do the same on the uh, let's see this would be the two three gear and same measurement there just showing amount of delay Alright, that's about all I have for you today. Thank you for watching.